either. This is a problem presented by Anil Kalmar in his YouTube channel. It's about solving distance, rate, and time problems, like time to overtake. The example here is uh, from Anil's uh, presentation. It reads, Lucy is ahead running at 80 kilometers per hour, and after one hour, Dave starts to chase uh, Lucy's car at speed of 100 kilometers per hour. And how far will Dave need to drive to catch Lucy? Okay, this is an interesting but easy problem. Before we start solving the problem, we need to review our basic tools or formula. The basic formula for distance, rate, and time relationship is distance is equal to rate multiplied by time, or d equals rt, or time is equal to distance divided by rate. From this basic distance, rate, and time relationship, let us derive a formula which we can use over and over with this kind of problem. Okay, uh, we know it's given uh, distance equals rate times time or time is equal to distance divided by rate. So for Lucy or for car A, we call it RA is the rate of the car A which is ahead. DA is the distance ahead and DX would be the additional distance traveled by car A at the time when he is overtaken. RB is the rate of the chase car. So as we can see here, car A is already ahead by a distance DA. And he would have to travel additional distance DX as car B would travel from zero to up to the, this point wherein there would be uh, that would be car B overtaking car A. So for car A is distance uh, traveled at time T this one is equal to his rate times the time. For car B, we have dA plus dx, which is the total distance needed to overtake car A, and is uh, time would be dA plus dx equals its rate R B and time, which is what we call equation two, and this is equation one. Now the analysis is. We have D equals rate of A times time, and we call that equation 1. And DA plus DX equals rate B times time, we call equation 2. So if we substitute DX, this rate of A times time, into equation 2, we would get DA plus RA, which is this is the DX right here, equals RB times time. So we have this formula, and if we solve for time T, we would have T equals distance ahead divided by RB minus RA, which is read as distance ahead, divided by difference in rates equals time to overtake. This is very important, so you have to remember this formula. It's being commonly used. In, f in fact, if you know this, you can mentally solve the problem by just looking at these, um, the, this uh, data. Okay? So, for this problem, we have the distance ahead, which is 80, 80 miles, 
remember to read. And then, uh, let's see, we have here the distance ahead is the rate of the car ahead is 80 kilometers. So the distance ahead would be after one hour is 80 kilometers. So we have 80 divided by the difference in rates, which is 100 minus 80, would be 80 divided by 20, or 4 hours. So we know that at 100 kilometers per hour, Dave took 400 kilometers to overtake Lucy. And that is the problem. If you have any question or anything, any comment, you might want to uh, uh, make a comment below and tell me what you think. Okay?